So today is World Mental Health Day and tomorrow is National Depression Screening Day. And according to the World Health Organization, half of all mental illness begins by the age of 14. Depression is the third leading cause of mental health illnesses in teens. Dr. Christina Davis, clinic director at the Counseling Center at Christian Theological Seminary here now to talk about free depression screenings available next week, doctor. Good to That's see right. you. Good to see you again. We'll get into those screenings here in a moment first though. What can parents do if they do have a teenager in the house and they suspect sure. maybe they're going through some type of depression or mental illness? Sure, I think the most important thing is to really normalize conversations early and often about emotional wellness, about um, mental health, so that if there is something that comes up along the way, then that teen won't find that it's a struggle to know that it's okay to talk about that with, sure. with mom or dad. Um, I think it's really helpful also for parents to do their regular checkups with their pediatrician um, because pediatricians now offer those screenings according to the American Academy of pediatrics to adolescents as a regular routine part of physical health. Very good topic. Uh, also, this year's theme is reach out, right? Yes. Why is that important? Why is it so important to, A, if you're a person maybe going through something to reach out and ask for help, and B, if you're somebody that maybe knows somebody to reach out to that person and say, hey, maybe you need exactly. help. Exactly, exactly. Well, what we know is about two thirds of persons who suffer with depression never receive treatment. Mm. And so that's the part that we're wanting to really avoid is that if you can reach out for help or if you know someone who might be suffering in silence and you let them know, hey, this is something that we can better understand what's going on with you and get some options about how you might be able to improve. What we also know is that when people do get treatment, they're 80% likely to improve. And so there, there is a way in which um, people are needlessly kind of suffering when there is help that can really improve the condition of depression, which is, which is very common. Sure. One in 10 Americans will experience depression this year alone. Yeah. And so we know that it's, it's, it's common, but we don't know oftentimes what are the resources to help people. Less than a minute left real quick though, before we get into the screening, uh, the free screenings uh, treatment options, what are they? So once you have the screening and you are aware of what might be happening, a counselor will be able to talk with you about what those options are. That could include something like talk therapy. It could include a visit to a doctor that can um, prescribe medication. Mm -hmm. We know that those two oftentimes work best when they're done together. Um, but also there are social and spiritual and other kind of supports that we can recommend. Um, being connected to support systems helps tremendously as well. And that's where you can get those free screenings you see it on your screen there. Uh, this is available starting next week, right? That's correct, okay. all week long. Doctor, always good to see you. To see Thank you, you for well. being here. Brad, we will pass it on over to you, sir. I know you're pretty busy in the weather.